All right, we got done before the mist. Beautiful. Now you freaking zombies, come and get me. Come at me, bro. What's up, my immune friends? This is KJ48, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play for Mist Survival. Now, why did I restart this world? Two reasons I restarted the world. First of all, my world was bugged from day one with the loot. It was a real hassle, and um, I just, you know, didn't really want to deal with that anymore. Number two, I messed up my base, okay? I did not like the way that base was coming out. I said to myself, you know what? Cage, I'm going to tear this base down. I'm going to start over. And I was like, you know what, Cage? No, I'm talking to myself here. I'm like, you know what, Cage? We don't have time for that. That's going to take too, way too long. You, you know, you simply don't have enough time in the day to, to do something like that. So I, I wasn't really happy with my base. I was thinking about tearing it down. I was like, you know what? I've always wanted to live at the farm. Let's just do it. Let's just restart. And um, so I decided to restart my world. And here we are in a fresh world. Oh, I love the smell of a fresh world. And we're going to go ahead and pick up all our stuff here. And there we go. We got the bag. We got this thing right here. It doesn't do anything. We can just go ahead and sleep if we wanted to. And look at this. We actually started right by the farm. Now, you might be thinking, well, you started right by the farm. That's awesome, right? Yeah, not so much. Not so much. Uh, because the first thing I want to do, the first thing you guys want to do, anyone wants to do in this game, is get themselves a, a vehicle. It's not a great place to get myself a vehicle. Um, but I am going to stay at the farm. I'm going to stay at the... Um, the main part of the farm, there's uh, there's a couple barns there, and that's where I'm going to be staying. Um, do I even want to pick up this stuff? I don't think I want to pick up any of this stuff. Um, I will pick up food and drink, but I'm not going to pick up anything else. We need to make a beeline for a car. That is number one on the list. And I'm trying to figure out where the road is. Okay, so that's the farm. So that means the road's up that way. We just um, We actually just went away from the road. That's okay. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to make a beeline for the hotel. And once we get to the hotel, we're going to just, we're going to put together a car. I'd like to put together a car today. And um, this is where I'm going to be staying. I'm going to stay in these two barns right here. That's going to be the first part I'm going to stay in. I'm going to kind of stay in one of the barns. And I'm going to put up a big door. And then I'm going to stay, I'm going to set up the other barn and put up a big door there as well. Um, and then, you know, I'm going to eventually build out. Because, you know, I really, I really kind of screwed up last, last, um, last, uh, last series. Because, you know what, guys? Don't put the wall around your base until you have everything down. Like that's that's the simple fact. I put I put the you know I put the wall down first and oh, are we rebugged again with the loot? There's usually loot in that building. Um, not really sure what's going on, but we'll see. Anyway, um, yeah, build your compound first and then put the wall around it. Um, I put the wall up first and that was a big mistake. Um, a mistake I will try not to repeat. Um. You know, I've got a notoriously bad memory, but I will try my best not to repeat that mistake, and uh, we'll see what's what. All right, first things first. Let's, uh, you know, I'm going to take a look at this cabin up here. I don't think there's any infected in there. I don't have what I need to battle the infected at the moment, unfortunately. Um, so, you know, we'll, we'll see what's what, but uh, I don't think there's any infected up there. If there is, we're just going to have to leave it alone. But um, there's never anything in these cars, so I'm not even going to bother looking into that. Yeah, there might be some infected up here. I honestly don't remember. I think there could be a bear around this area as well. Uh, is that a bear? No, that's a bush. Okay, well. All right. Uh, all right, we got a hammer. Cool. And no infected. Awesome. Oh, that's what I wanted, an axe. That's beautiful. Might be why I'm putting, why I'm putting an axe in number six. That's where I keep my axes, you know. All right, so we got a knife. That's really nice as well. 100% knife. That's good. 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 And do we have anything in here? Okay. So now we're getting ooh, leaves, huh? You know what? You might think, well, leaves. Like, who cares about leaves? That's so stupid. No. Um, 16 leaves is a really is a really kind of a nice find, to be honest. So that is cool. That is cool. All right. Let's uh, let's get up to the road. I'm gonna go this way. The road's that way. But I'm gonna go around the long way and stay on the path to try and avoid any bear situation. Um, because I'm telling you right now, man. There's bears out here. I already tried to record this once. Um, I got about a minute and 45 seconds in and a bear just mauled me to death. So <laughs> I just uh, restarted. If a bear mauls me now, though, and I have to restart, yeah, I'm going to show you the pain. You're going to you're gonna sit through it with me because um, it's all part of the experience. Okay, another saw. Uh, take that. We'll take the stone. We're going to need stone. That looks like there's something in there. I don't know why I can't eat it. Maybe it's no good. Maybe it's just bad. Don't know. Let's go ahead and save the game. Oh, that's right. I got mauled by a bear and I, I saved the game. I could have just 
reloaded. I forgot. I forgot you can save in this game. You know, it's just something you don't get in a lot of uh, survival games. This game's tough. It's got some uh, balance issues at, at points. Uh, but the fact that you can save really makes up for that. Alright, what do we got over here? So I am seeing some loot. So that is really nice. I'm not gonna... Oh, boy. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna take that ammo with me. Actually, you know what? Pick them both up. Put the rocks in here. Put the extra saw in there. And then pick that up. And then what we'll do is we'll put this on the road. A little, uh, little drop chest. It's basically a drop chest. And then the cool thing is, once we get a, um, once we get a truck, yes, you can get vehicles in this game, for those of you that are new, and, um, not only can you get vehicles, but, I don't know what I want to keep, um, not only can you get vehicles, but you can get, um, damn it, I'm getting distracted here, you know what, let's put some stuff down here, you can get a truck, in which case you can carry stuff in the truck, which is just awesome, there we go, alright, looking good, um, a tire, well, we are gonna need tires for our vehicle, if you, if you play your cards right, you can get a vehicle day one. Pretty easily. Um, so that's what I'm shooting for here. Oh, there we go. We already got some spark plugs. Oh, no, no, no. Cancel. Can't take the spark plugs. Yeah, we got to dump some stuff in here. We got to walk all the way down this road. All right? All the way down this road. We're gonna What we're going to do is we're going to pass a... Uh, what else? Do I, yeah, we're, what we're going to do is we, we are going to pass a, a motel. And then we're going to pass um, some buildings, and then we're going to pass a, a garage. And past there, there'll be a little camp set up. And at that camp, we will be able to find a gas can. Gas can, that's going to be the hardest thing to get for this car um, that we're going to be making. So, all right, let's keep on keeping on. Well, guys, it feels a bit early for the mist, but apparently the mist has come in. Um, anytime it gets misty like this... That allows the enemies to come out. For those of you who don't know the backstory of this game, basically um, a mist has come on over the planet and anything caught in the mist dies and becomes a ghoul. Or not caught in the mist, but um, it brings in like ghouls, basically zombies and everything. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to sleep up here. If you press 7, you can sleep. You just got to find the right spot. There we go. And what will happen is the mist will make... The, um, the zombies will make a bunch of noise. And if you're like sleeping around them, they'll wake you up and you won't be able to sleep. But I might be up high enough to be able to sleep. Um, I just got to get that right there. All right. And usually the mist lasts about two or three hours. There we go. You hear something. And then we're going to go ahead and try and sleep through it some more. But it's being a little tricky here. Okay. There we go. Now, if it, the, the zombies can't climb. And if they're way down there, that means I could just sleep through it completely. Which is awesome. Later on, we will not be avoiding the zombies. We will be hunting the zombies. Um, well, not really hunting. What we'll do is when the mist comes, we'll get in a safe spot and we'll kill them with bow and arrows. Um, well, a bow and arrows. Uh, so that that's, you know, that's we're going to farm the mist. The, the zombies drop some really, really important stuff. Okay. Uh, let's grab some more stuff for this car. Um, see, there's a lot of gas and stuff. And we don't have any room. So uh, we need another bag. I think there's a bag around here somewhere, isn't there? I thought there was. Maybe it's in one of these. Um, there might be one up there. Uh, let's check in here. What I'm looking for is another container. Now, there's some zombies in there, but we'll just leave the door closed. They won't bother me, I hope. And we're looking for another bag. Oh, there, there we go. So what we'll do is we'll pick this up. These containers are really awesome in the beginning of the game. And I think there's another one in here. Right? Hmm. Hmm. Maybe not. Well, there's a battery, so we'll... Oh, we don't... See, we don't have any room for anything. Yeah, there's there's not another one there. I think the other one is probably in with the zombies, or it could be down here. Let's check, uh... Let's check these rooms. I thought there was another one in here I could get. Maybe I'm just missing it. Nah, not seeing it. All right, guys, I put a bunch of stuff in here, uh, just to, you know, kind of keep it out of the way. And then we're going to go to our equipment, and we're going to put the uh, helmet on that we got up in that tower. And then we're going to look for some more parts. All right, so we got another spark plug. I'm going to leave stuff that I don't need. Um, we're strictly looking just to get a car going. So, oh, we, I don't need that. What did I, what did I just say? The only thing I need is an engine now because there's another battery up there. Ah. Uh, all right, I'll take that battery. I'll take that battery. It looks like it's probably in better shape than the one that was upstairs. Um, so we don't have a battery. Uh, we don't have an engine, so that kind of blows. But we do have some tires. Uh, we just need one more tire, gas, and an engine should not really be an issue. So what we're going to do is we're going to head on down this way. And like I said, we have to go all the way down this road. There's no two ways about that. I'm going to skip cars. Well, I probably shouldn't skip cars until I get an engine. 
But we have to go all the way down this road. Uh, all the way, folks. Like... Um, like I said, we're gonna we already passed the motel. We're gonna pass a garage, and then we're gonna we're gonna go get the gas can. I don't expect anything crazy to happen. So now that I've got the engine, I'll just pause until we get to the part where the gas ga gas can is. And in case you're watching this and you want to know where it is, like I said, there's the motel. You just keep going down this way. All right, guys, we're on the road. We came down from that way. I just want to point out right over there that is called the White House. It is probably the best place to live in the game, even better than where I lived last season. And over here, there's going to be a shack. Now, there's probably going to be a bag ex uh, bag extension uh, upgrade bag thingy, whatever you want to call it, um, in here. So let's let's check this out. All right, a lot of stuff in here, and there it is. Upgrade inventory. There we go. Plus three slots. That's cool. Now, there's a lot of stuff here I kind of want to take, but you know what, guys? We're going to have to be a little bit selective at first. Um, we don't have a ton of room in our inventory. It was over here. Oh, we will take the components. I should probably take that wood, too. How, many, how much is that? Ah, it's only one piece. Never mind. All right, let's keep on keeping on. So, anyway, this is the uh, road, and when you come down here, there's going to be, right across from the White House, there's going to be a little... Um, I don't know, a little, little living area over here with some uh, with some trailers, okay? And right over here is going to be the gas can. Gas can. There you go. All right, so we do have some room, so let's grab some stuff. I will grab a battery. Your stuff will take damage. Oh, that's six wood. That's good. Um, your stuff will take damage um, in your car as, you know what? We should probably take this. Your stuff will take damage in your car, your engine, you know, everything that is in your car will take damage as you um, as you go along. So uh, you want to get backup stuff. It's not as bad as it used to be. He definitely made it a lot more reasonable. It used to be really, really rough, man. Like your car would just disintegrate. Like every bump in the road. Uh, it's a feather. We need feathers, but not really that important right now. Okay. Let's grab that. Grab that. Oh, I think there's something on top of this as well, isn't there? If you double click, you could kind of pull yourself up. Got some ammo, another can of soda. Alrighty. And I, I'm surprised I can't take that bottle. I thought I could. There we go. Need those bottles for making booze later on. And what you're going to do with the booze is you're going to turn it into uh, uh, like some kind of like you're going to turn it into alcohol. And it's not like for drinking or anything. It's for uh, bandaging, bandaging up your wounds. So, where is the closest car I could drive the heck out of here? Oh, right there. Cool. Alright, so let's uh, let's get this car, freaking get this show on the road, people. We're, now, this thing comes empty, so we're just going to put it in here, fill the can, take it out, 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 take it out. I have to always say that, because um, a couple of times I've left those... I uh, shouldn't be looting. A couple of times I've left um, gas containers in the cars, and then, like, I lose them. You know, so I always go take it out, 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 take it out. Oh, who doesn't annoy you? I think it's I think it's a little funny personally, but um, oh, we're still short a wheel, aren't we? All right, all right. Well, let's put this stuff in for now. It's gonna take ten minutes per wheel, and uh, I think I know where we could find another wheel. All right, guys, it's starting to get dark on me. Um, unfortunately, in this game, darkness isn't really a problem. Like the enemy doesn't really seem to be very active at night. I don't know if that's changed recently, but. Um, oh, nice. But it's never... They've, the enemy's never really been active before at night. So I'm not really sure if... You know, again, that might have changed. You know, take that with a grain of salt. But um, I basically stay out, stay in during the night, though, because I, just, I don't like making dark videos. And plus, when I can't see anything, you know, enemies like bears and stuff tend to be able to sneak up on you, which is kind of annoying. All right. So we've got a battery. We've got this thing right here, a workbench. Now, we could take that workbench apart. Uh, you know, and make one back at our base, but I don't think we're gonna do that right now because I think we actually have a workbench at our base. Or we could we could kind of get the truck and come back and get that. Oh, a shirt, nice. I would like to put on a shirt, please. Uh, shirt. There we go. Beautiful. All right. Uh, so what else? Okay, we'll leave this alone. We got the we got the wheel. I just came down the road back towards the hotel. That's the uh, garage I was telling you about. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get back to my car. I'm going to put the final tire in it, and um, we could probably drive home during the night. Uh, I might not want to do that, though. I might I might want to loot for the rest of the video. Um, the, the trunk of the car I got, uh, it's a hatchback. It has a lot of space in it. I'll show you when we get there. Um, so I could fit a lot of stuff in there. So, I mean, yeah, maybe, maybe we should just loot for the rest of the video. When I get back to base, the first thing I want to do is make a door for the barn. 
Um, because that barn is not going to be safe until I've done so. So, it's not this car, is it? Nope. It's the next one. That's my car right there. That's my jam. And I gotta find a truck. Um, I'll probably leave the car when I find a truck. I'll, I'll use the car to find a truck. I don't remember exactly where I found the truck um, in my last game. So, I'm gonna have to, like, kind of look that up. Uh, so, you know. But, uh, yeah, I do need to find a truck. Like, very important. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this stuff out of here. Can we put this on top of the car? We didn't used to be able to do this. But maybe they changed it. I don't know. It's worth a try. Put the gun away. There you go. Nah, that's not going to stay on there. Anyway, this is the trunk right here. So that is awesome. Which one? What is this? Nine. That's rifle ammo. That's nine mil. We'll put the rifle ammo in there. All right, guys. I came back to the... Uh, I drove the car down here to the garage. And I'm just sleeping on the roof here for the night. And then we'll continue looting in the morning. And um, I just had some... I just had some uh, four o'clock in the morning early breakfast. I'm going to sleep another couple hours. Just to get the light, honestly. I don't need to sleep another couple hours, but hey, I don't like making dark videos, so. Alright, there we go. Okay, so now we're just going to go ahead and loot this area. Should be some good stuff around here. And, yeah, alright. Alright, very good. Let's go ahead and loot. Now oh, this is kind of dark. L, there we go. Guys should be able to see pretty decently. It won't be dark for long. Oh yeah, let's go in here. Alright, we need some backup spark plugs. We're also going to need the gasoline. Can make a generator later. And um, you might be tempted to use the gasoline on the generator. I would suggest maybe not doing that. Because there's a very limited amount of gasoline in the world. And, um, you know, once you're out of gasoline, you can't you can't fuel your car. Now, I've never had a gasoline. The car doesn't really seem to use gasoline that much, honestly. But at the same time, you know, you can make biofuel. What you do is you'll kill a bear. And then you'll cut the fat off of it, and then you'll turn it into biofuel, and you can use that for your generator. And that's what I do. And it works It works just fine. Alright, gonna grab all this metal. Uh, we could break apart that car, although I think I'm gonna wait until I have the sledgehammer. You could break apart this car for resources. Any of these, like, cars with, um, with tinted windows, you could break apart for resources. Uh, but I'm gonna choose not to do that, because it does, it does degrade my axe. And, um, axes aren't exactly cheap to make, uh, so I'm gonna wait until I have a sledgehammer. I keep thinking I'm hearing something. Because the sledgehammer's broken right now, and, um, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't use any durability. Okay. Did I get everything in here? I believe I did. Alright. Alright, let's move on. Let's, um, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna go down to the motel and start looting, uh, looting the motel. And, uh, we really need to find a truck. I don't remember where I saw the truck. You guys will probably let me know in the comments where the trucks are. I just, I forget. I don't know. So, I don't know. It's weird that I forgot. I was so excited to get a truck when they were introduced into the game. And now I just completely forgot, like, where it was. We gotta be careful here, because a lot of times there's a bear in here. Although, I'm not seeing anything right now. Should be able to do anything from the hood anyway. Take it out, 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 take it out. You know, I wasn't sure about restarting this world. I was like, I don't know, you know, but I gotta tell you, I made the right choice. I'm having a great time. This is this is fun. This is fun. Really good good choice restarting this world. We're gonna come check this house. Cause this could have some good stuff in it. This is the first house I ever stayed in when I first started playing the game. So we got an axe in here. And nothing over there. Might be some stuff in here. Nope. And nope. That's a double nope. I might also turn off the the the, uh, the grass for a few videos. Just because it's really, it's almost impossible to see stuff on the ground with the grass on. Um, so I tend to turn the grass off. At least in the beginning of a let's play. Uh, the, the, the thing is though, it looks really bad with the grass off. So I'm going to try not to if I can avoid it. But I need to be able to see stuff. So we'll see. We'll see. I am going to be staying at the farmhouse for the first time ever, which um, is pretty exciting. The first time I the first time I played, I stayed at the White House. The last time I stayed at that tower, and now I'm going to stay at the farmhouse. The, I'm pretty freaking excited about the farmhouse. Uh, the farmhouse comes with a smithy station, so I won't have to. What is it called? Blacksmith station or whatever. Um, so I won't have to make that, which will save me a lot of resources. So that's going to be cool. Um, it's right next to the mine. I mean, the farm is a great place to stay. It really is. Uh, I can't think of too many bad things about staying at the farm. Alright, so let's get on up here and loot these cars as well. You know, I'm going to forget I looted all these cars. I'm going to come back and try and loot them, like, multiple times in future episodes. I know it. Because that's that's just the way I roll. Over there's a 
Is that the bandit camp? I think that's the bandit camp. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. If you get too close, bandits will spawn. And then you gotta kill them. And what you could do is you could rescue uh, NPC hostages. Uh, there's three of them. There's Rachel, uh, Kate, and Cockblock Scott. So, you know, probably probably rescue those guys at some point. Um... I, I like rescuing them, and I enjoy the combat, but th those videos never do that well. Like, people don't seem to watch them much, which is a little bit of a bummer. Because, um, it is fun, you know? It's just, uh, I don't know. It's just, it's just not people's thing. I don't know. There we go. Now we got some gas, boys. Hells yeah. Let's drop some stuff in here. We need more stone. We're really gonna need some stone, because we need a fireplace. Uh, or campfire. Not a fireplace. What the hell are you talking about, Cage? Campfire, fireplace, it's all good. Uh, okay. Yeah, there's... I thought there was something... Oh, yeah, there's some stuff over here. Might be some stuff over here on the ground. Here, I'm gonna... I'm gonna do this now, because... It's really... I, I'll show you how to do it in case you want to do it yourself. Uh, so what are we looking at here? Um, you can see all my stats here, too. Um, display, graphics... Uh, foliage... Low... There you go. Now I can see stuff. Look at this. Look at all this stuff I couldn't see. Yeah. I mean, it does look a lot worse. I'll probably turn it on again at some point. I definitely will turn it on again at some point. I'm not doing the uh, developer any services by recording with that foliage off. It's not really fair. I feel I don't feel right about it, but I feel even less right about missing loot. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? All right. So this thing should be full of stuff. Okay, and now we got all that. We're almost full. Let me see what kind of stuff I can put in here. We can stack some bottles. Um, man, we really need a little more stone. Didn't I have more stone than this? I thought I did. Oh, that's 9 mil. Can we put that in our gun? This thing doesn't hold 10 rounds, does it? Nope. Alright, so there's no more room in here for pretty much anything. Okay, fair enough. I thought I had... Um, I thought I had some stone somewhere. I think I, I think it's at that other base. You know what? Let me, let me get that stone because it's going to be really important. I actually want to get to the farm today. Um, it doesn't make much sense going to the farm in the middle of the day. That's something I should be doing at night. But we can go there, drop stuff off, get ready for another loot run. I think it's important. So, but I think I left stone at this trailer over here. One of these places. Maybe it was in this, this loot container. Maybe it was in this one. I got to get that stone. Yep, there it is. All the stone? No, let's take... Eight should be fine for now. Okay. Alright, you know what? Let's just get to the farmhouse. I want you guys to see my... My future... My future... Uh, I don't know what you call it. Base? My future building area? I don't know what you want to call it, but... It's time to, it's time to show you what's up. So, this is the farm. There are zombies in that house. So, steer clear. I could probably take them with the... Uh, I could probably take them with what I have right now. The uh, axe could probably kill them, but we're not going to do that today. And I'm going to stay in this barn right here. So let's go ahead and drop some stuff off. All right, guys. Basically got this place cleared out. I'm going to leave that backup stuff in there. I'll leave that in there as well. And uh, right now I'm just throwing stuff on the ground because that's all there is to do. Uh, let me see what I need for a door. I wonder if we can get a door done today. Probably not. Maybe. I don't know. It's possible. Anything's possible. If you press B, it goes to the build menu. We're going to go right over here, and we're going to go to um, freestanding like structure structure buildings. And we're going to go down here to the main gate. All right, so we just want to line this up as best we can. It should be lined up pretty well uh, going that way. I just got to uh, kind of like this. Come on. Really? All right, come on. Work with me here. No. Should I go in? Nah, I think we're going to come out. <laughs> See how close that is. Mm. It's not as close as I would like, but I don't know if we're going to have any any option. Uh, we probably have enough to build that right now. Should we build it right now? Uh, I think we shall. Alright, so. What we're going to do is we're going to come around here. And we're going to chop down one tree. Should be plenty. Uh, number six. Usually what I like to do when I chop down a tree is I chop down two at once. So you do like this. There's two types of trees in this game. There's these trees right now. I don't know what these are. I call them pine, but I'm not, I'm not really sure what kind they are. And then there's birch trees. These trees give more, all right? But what you want to do is you never want to cut down one tree. You want to find trees that are close enough together to do this. Because chopping down trees in this game is a biatch. 
And I'm actually, um... Oh, and don't chop out the stump until the tree's giving you the wood. Or else the tree might not give you the wood. Probably won't. And I'm going to go ahead and pick all this stuff because I know we're going to need it. Alright, so we're going to pick all that up. And then what I'm going to do is, right before I build the item, okay? And you're going to want to do this in this game, along with every other game I play pretty much. Especially the forest, you know? What you're going to do is, before you build the item, you are going to... Um, you're going to save the game in case it doesn't come out the way you want it to. Okay? After you've gathered all the resources, save the game, and then build it. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to come in here. We're going to grab... Uh, well, we don't have any room for anything. That's okay. Uh, we need a hammer. That is very true. We do not have any inventory space. I know where to get all the um, all the inventory bags. We'll do that at some point. Maybe even next video. I don't know. Alright, so now we pick up some of these. There we go. We dump this stuff in there. There we go. 20 metals a lot at this stage of the game, but that's okay. It's okay. I mean, you can't put you can't put a price tag on a door that's going to keep me safe. Right now, look at this, the mist. Am I going to get done before the mist? I don't know. Nope, that was the wrong thing to pick up. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, we got done before the mist. Beautiful. Now you freaking zombies, come and get me. Come at me, bro. All right, let's sleep through the night. The only thing I don't like about staying here is the freaking dirt ground, man. Drives me up a wall. I can make a bed. Ah, oh, see, they're too close to me, so I can't, I can't sleep through the night. That's a bummer. Well, guys, I was just gonna wait and pass the night off camera, but why don't I show you some interesting ways to pass the night? If you are in a spot you can't sleep your way through the mist and you don't want to deal with it, you can make sticks, right? All right, that'll help. You can eat or drink. That helps. As a matter of fact, we should probably go ahead and eat. We'll wait. Or you could grab these and make um, wood planks, in which case you will need a saw. So these should take up a good amount of time. Oh yeah, 45 minutes for that one. See? It's a good way to pass time. And you're gonna need these planks anyway. So you're not you're not like wasting your resources like at all. Alright, so let's go ahead and throw some of this crap on the floor, and then let's see if this door lined up properly. Yeah, it didn't quite line up the way I wanted it to, but I think that's about the best it's gonna be. I don't think I can get any closer than that, to be honest. Alright guys, I went ahead and off camera redid this thing like four or five times. I, ro I rotate it the other way, I put it in different ways. This is pretty much the best I could get. So I'm going to have to ignore the fact that it's not right against the wall. It's fine. It's fine. You know what? I'll forget about it by next video. Anyway, guys. Um, yeah, hell of a start, guys. We got the car, we, fa we found our home, and we got a door up to keep us uh, safe during the night. I didn't expect to get this door up this quickly. That makes me very, very happy. Next video, we need to work on a crowbar. We need to work on it. Well, actually, don't you need the workbench to make a crowbar? I think you do. So... What we're going to do is we're going to go to the other workbench over there, the one at the garage. We're going to make a crowbar. After we've done that, we're going to break in right here, and there's a workbench in here. Now, now that I think about it, actually, I don't think you can get that workbench out. I've tried to get that workbench out of this building, and I don't think you can get it out. So, um, maybe I'll look for the truck next video. You know what? I think we should get a truck next video. I think that would really help because then we can move the workbench over here. We could start putting uh, all kinds of stuff. You could make like um, like big security lockers inside. I could I could use the truck to get lockers around. Yeah, you know what? I just convinced myself. Next video is going to be all about getting the truck. Anyway, guys, if you ended up enjoying the video, if you want to see more of this game, make sure you uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.